Hello and welcome to a new video discussing dynamic array formulas for Office 365 users, video number 3. If you are not an Office 365 user, you won't be able to apply and practice examples in this video. In the previous video, we discussed unique and sort functions and presented some simple example to illustrate how these two functions work. In this video, we'll continue with unique and sort, but this time we'll see a comprehensive practical example on how to prepare a dynamic sales report using unique and sort together with some ifs. We will also look at how lookup function like index can be extremely useful with spilled arrays and how we can benefit from date functions like day and end of month. We'll also give an example on how to use the hash pound with some and some ifs and how this function will spill automatically under the new calculation engine in Office 365. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. In our practical example today, we have the daily sales for 2019 coming in six columns. First one is date, region, category, product, and net sales and it is in 5,000 rows. And the requirement is to summarize this data into three reports. First one is net sales by region. Second one is net sales also, but by region and category together. And the third one is the monthly sales report. And for sure, this report should be dynamic, meaning that if we add new data to this table, should be automatically reflected in our report. New data like new region or new category or new product, this should be reflected directly into these three reports. Let's start with the first example, which is having a summary report for net sales by region. Inside H3, I'm going to start writing my formula. For sure, I'm going to use the unique function in order to get a unique list of all regions in this column in, or from this table. So let me start by typing equal and then UNIQ. Here you go, your unique function. Then tab, I need to select the region column inside this table. I'm going to select by just hovering over the header of the column. You will see this small black arrow. If I just do one click, the entire column will be selected. And if you look at the formula inside the cell or inside the formula bar, you will see this is the name of the table sales data and between two square brackets, the name of the column, which is region. This all I need for this function. No need for the second and third argument, which is optional. So I'm going to close the bracket and enter. The entire list will be spilled automatically. If you check the first row, the first row in this list, you will see that the formula is life. You have it written in black. You can edit and change. Starting the second row till end of the spilled list, you will see that the formula is grayed out and you cannot change. Now the second step is to build the sum ifs function inside the column i, so you get the numbers of net sales per region. So let me start again by typing equal, this time sum ifs or sum ifs, then tab. First argument is the sum range, for sure this will be the net sales. Again, I can just hover by the mouse and click. Then comma, I'm going to select the criteria range. This time, let me type it myself. The name of the table will be sales data. I can just do a tab. And then between square bracket, let me put the name of the column. This time should be also the region R E G. Then tab and close the square bracket. You will see it's automatically selected the column region. Now I need a criteria. For sure, criteria will be in column H. So I'm going to select H3 for criteria and then close the bracket and enter. Here you go. The sales for Cairo. If I can simply just copy till the end, you will have the summary for all regions. If you go up and add a sum function, equal SUM tab, and then select the range, close the bracket and enter. You have the summary of net sales by region and the total on top of the table. Now let me check if I added a new region to this table, what will happen? I'm going to column region and end of the table. Let me add a new region called triple A. I'll add an amount, let's say 100. And then I'm going up again to check what happened in my table. You will see that the triple A added. You can see it here. And you see that there is no expansion for the sum ifs. So you have to do it yourself. You have to do it manually. 
you have to copy down and also you have to update the range for the sum function on top of the table this is not exactly what we want to do we need something to have automatic update without any intervention let me delete all the cells all the rows below the first one and let's focus on the formula on top of this table so you'll see that i selected h3 but what if i added hash after h3 let's see what will happen when i add the hash excel automatically will select the entire spilled array coming from the unique function and if i press on enter now you will see that the sum if itself will be spilled and it produce the summary if i do the same inside the sum function itself so instead of having the range from i3 to i7 after the i3 i'm going to type hash and it will select the range again excel is understanding that you are selecting the entire dispelled array coming from the sum if and when i press enter now everything is dynamic let's add another region let's say triple b and an amount of 200 let's go up again and see it's automatically updated the sum is updated the list updated and the sum ifs updated only one step missing here is to sort this table you see that it is starting with cairo and ending with b it is unsorted list if i want to sort this list i can easily go into the first row before the unique function and add my sort function so between the equal and unique i'm going to type sort s-o-r-t and tab this is the only mandatory argument which, which is the array then i'm going to the end and close the bracket for the sort function and enter now you have the list sorted and here you go the net sales summary by region is done before moving to the second example now i need to have some formatting for this table but because i don't know exactly what will be the size of this table after the changes that may happen in the original data table so i'm going to use the conditional formatting and because i'm going to work on the three reports so let me select the entire area like here and i'm going to the home ribbon conditional formatting and then new rule then i'm going to select the second option format only cells that contain format only cells with i'm going to select the uh, option no blanks and then i'm going to the format tab from the borders i can select this dotted border or dotted line and an outline for each cell so this is telling excel if any cell does not have blank please do an outline border like this one with dotted line then okay and another one okay you will see that the cells with no blanks is uh, outlined by the dotted line border now let's go to the second example i need the same report net sales report but this time by region and category together for sure i need a unique list of the two combinations together region and category in the same time so let me again use the unique function this time i'm going to k3 and start to type my function equal unique u n i q tab array is coming from two columns together hover over the region and then click and then go one step to the right and then close the bracket and enter you will see the list will be spilled on two columns as you can see here and if you check in the formula bar any cell but cell k3 it will be grayed out again i need to sort this list so let me write sort at the beginning and tab the only argument is the array so let me close the bracket and enter now the unique list of the two columns is sorted i can just quickly go to the net sales column and start to write my sum ifs equal sum ifs and tab this time the sum range will be the net sales this time let me try to write it myself if i write sales i have the sales data table tab open square bracket ne for net sales and tab close the square bracket criteria range one will be for sure the region so let me also type it myself sales data open square bracket region tab close the square bracket the criteria is in k3 let me try k3 and then hash like what we did in the first example so it will select as you can see k and l together why because this array is spilled on two columns but this will not work with sum if so i need to do something first and then again to write my sum if so let me escape this out and try to find a solution for this issue so what i want to do is to have the formula exactly like this sort and unique together but 
at the time it spell it should be spelled into two lists not only one list so when it's spell in two list i can just select the first one in the first criteria and the second one in the second criteria inside the sum ifs so in order to do this i'm going to use index so let me go at the beginning or uh, before sort i'm going to write index i n d and then tab i have now the index let's check the arguments inside index first one which is array which is coming from sort and unique function second one is row number i need all the rows so i'm going to just ignore it ignore it how comma and comma now i need to add the number of columns i need this list to be spilled into two lists so at the first one region i need the first column so i'm going to write one if i write one i'm telling index please publish or please spill only the first column of this array and then close the bracket and enter you will have the same unique list but only the first column is spilled uh, starting k3 up to the end of the list i can just copy the same formula from inside k3 and go to l3 double click Control v and i'm going to change one to two and enter now i have the second part of the original spilled array inside column l or down the category header as you can see here now if i write my sum ifs normally i will have no problem so equals sum ifs then criteria range one criteria one this time i can easily type k3 and then hash that's perfect it selected all the spilled list inside k from k3 then comma criteria range two this time will be the category column inside sales data table criteria two let me now again type l3 and then hash perfect it selected the entire spilled array from l3 then close the bracket for some ifs and enter perfectly happened you have here your spilled array i can just copy the sum function here it will understand that i want to spill everything from m3 and here you go you have your second example your second report done last example and the most complicated one i need to do a summary for net sales by month but notice that i do not have a month column inside this table there is some tricks that you need to start with in order to create at the beginning a list of the month so let me start again by my unique function so inside p3 equal uniq that's easy i have unique this time again the sales data table but i need the date close the square bracket close the bracket for unique and enter a list of all dates are produced as you can see here if you check the number of the rows in this list it will be like 360 columns which is more or less the number of the days in the year so at the beginning is not bad if i want to have something to represent the month of january it cannot be all the days of january i need to select only one day to represent january let's day the end of january in order to convert all the dates that inside the month of january into 31st of january i'm going to use a formula called end of month so carefully outside the unique function i'm going to write e o and tab you will see here is e o month which representing end of month and this function is needs a date so this is the start date which is basically coming out of the unique function and then it requires another parameter called month if you put one it will give you end of february instead of end of january if you put minus one it will give you the end of december last year instead of end of january for our case i need the same month so i'm going to type zero and close the bracket and enter let's check what's happened all the days inside january converted to 31st of january if you go down you'll see every day inside february changed to 28th of february and so on and so forth so now this is not exactly what i want i want only one day representing each month so if i'm going to type another unique you go carefully inside the formula bar and you type another unique outside of the end of month function and just close the bracket at the end and enter you will see that you have only a small list of 12 cells they are 12 rows these 12 rows representing one day which is end of day for each month i can easily go to the formatting uh, section and format number i can just select something showing that this is a month like mmm-yy which is sample here you can see jan 19 and then okay 
and here you go it looks like a list of the month coming from the table now the second step is to do our sum ifs so let me try to write simple sum ifs equal sum ifs tab the sum range will be again the net sales criteria range one will be for sure the date column and criteria should be what do you think if i select only p3 which is the specific day which is the end of the month it will give me only the sales for this day so i want to tell excel please bring all the sales happened in the dates before the end of the day before i can represent by less than so let me put double quote and then less than and also i need the same date the, uh, to be included so i'm going to use equal with the less than and then i'm going to close the double quotes and then i want to join this with p3 this is how i can tell some ifs that i want the dates less than or equal to 31st of january join it meaning that i'm going to write and and then p3 and we already understood that if you write p3 hash this means i'm going to select the entire spelled array and then close the bracket for the sum ifs and enter let's see what will happen i think first month is okay january is okay however you can see that february is almost double january and then march is three times january i think this is a running total why because each month i take end of the month and all the dates before the end of the month so i need another criteria to tell excel please stop at the beginning of the month i need to tell excel where to stop so let me try something in this empty area i'm going to use a function called day so equal day tab the day function is just giving you the number of days inside the month so if i'm going to select p3 and again let me put the hash directly and close the bracket and enter you will see that it will give you 31st for january 28 for february 31 for march and so on and so forth so if i go here and i subtract the number of days from the date itself so let me edit quickly here double click and before the day i'm going to select again p3 and hash and then minus meaning that i need the date the end date of the month minus the number of days of each month and enter let me change this to short date in order to see what's exactly written here here you go here is the end date of the previous month so i can use this piece of info inside the sum ifs to tell excel that i need the dates from two so let's again edit the sum ifs i'm going to add another criteria again select the criteria the sales data date so i'm going to type sales data but this time i'm going to tell excel please i need it to be greater than this date so no need for equal just greater than close the double quote and then join again and this time i'm going to use the content of cell s3 then hash for sure in order to spill the entire function and then close the bracket for some if and enter here you go i think it is pretty similar to what we have here let's check the total control c control v excellent 306 and in order to get rid of this helper column i can just uh, copy the formula from inside here control c and again edit my sum ifs and instead of s3 hash i can just delete open bracket control v and then close the bracket why open and close bracket because i need to join everything inside these two brackets with the greater than and then enter i think no need for the formula inside s3 delete it will delete the entire list as you can see here you go you have your third report it is the monthly report i think it's very easy you manage to get a list of the month and you manage to get the net sales by month although you don't have uh, in the beginning you don't have a month column inside this table let's try to add anything in the bottom to check how this dynamic let me add a new date so let me add 1st of january 20 again let me add 1st of february 20 let me add a new category triple a let me add a new region triple z another region triple b another category triple b and let's add 
some amounts 1000 and 3000 and enter here you go you have your month list updated i think just i need some number formatting here you have your month list updated you have your summary updated you have the new categories added here the new regions added here in the region report you have the new region and the new category added inside the region category report everything is dynamic and also conditional formatting is working perfectly everything you change it will reflect directly into your three reports that was all for today thank you very much for your time hope it was useful for you and see you in next video and bye